For this project, you're going to create your own proverb and adage poster. So we're going to start slowly. So on this slide, I have listed some common proverbs or adages for you. We've talked about a lot of these in class together today. I'm going to read them to you, and then you're going to pick the one that you would like to complete the project on. So only you only have to do one. Birds of a feather flock together. Don't judge a book by its cover. The early bird gets the worm. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Better safe than sorry. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. The best things in life are free. Two wrongs don't make a right. Practice makes perfect. Do not remove the fly from your friend's head with a hatchet. A bad penny always turns up. A chain is no stronger than its weakest link. A fool and his money are soon parted. Actions speak louder than words. All that glitters is not gold. Beggars can't be choosers. Don't cut off your nose to spite yeah. your face. Make a great impression. Sorry about that. I had Dixie ready to play and it jumped in on me. And the last one is don't put all your eggs in one basket. So you're going to go ahead and pick the one that you want to do. You're going to type or you can even copy and paste from the other screen that adage into this first box. Then you're going to tell me what, before you look it up, what you think the adage means in a sentence. Then you are going to work with a learning partner either at home or school and find what it really means. You're going to Google what does the adage two birds of a feather flock together mean. Okay, and then you're going to type the real meaning in here. Then you're going to share. You're going to tell us were you correct or were you incorrect. Once you get that done, you're going to go here. Again, you can copy and paste the adage into here. You're going to type what it literally means. So two birds of a feather flock together. What would that what would that look like? It would be like two birds with one feather flying together. So you're going to try to find an image of that here and you're going to type what what that literally means. Then figuratively what it actually means. It means two people who have something in common stick together and hang out. So you would put a picture of what it figuratively means here and you would type what it would figuratively mean there. Okay, if you have any questions, please ask Mrs. Vasquez. Either leave a comment, send an email, or raise your hand if you're an in-person learner. You are going to have two class periods to complete this. It is a grade.